welcome to another edition of the Julie Goldman So Lesbian Interview Special Special. I am Julie Goldman. This is the special. Welcome to the show here in Los Angeles, Hollywood, California. Everybody, come on, studio audience. Look at this beautiful studio audience today. We are in a room the size of a closet. And I want to say hello to Kate McKinnon, the co-host for today. Hello. Kate McKinnon. Hello. Wonderful. Thanks hello, for how are you? Getting my name right. Great. Internet up? Mm-hmm. We're good. We're golden. Good. good. We're good. Googling. Good. I want to welcome our guest, our Celesmian guest for today. You've seen her on the new logo show, X's and O's. Please welcome Marnie Alton, everybody. Marnie Alton. <laughs> Marnie Alton. Now, the kids, the ladies, the people know you from X's and O's. So, <laughs> you go and audition for X's and O's, and it says, looking for... Lady who'll do it with ladies. Right. Basically. And you're yeah. like, what the F? Whatever. I'm not doing musical theater. <laughs> Might How as well. about some lesbian? Thank you. So, you get it. You make it. Yeah. What was that like for you? And tell the people who haven't, who maybe haven't seen X's and O's, what it is and the part that you play. All right, Julie. Mm -hmm. X's and O's is a half hour drama day. Um, mm. It follows the lives of five very different friends who all happen to be lesbians. Lives. Right. Yeah. Um, it sounds like another show. Right. I have no idea what you're talking about. I've never heard There's this. There's a show. I don't remember I don't what it's called. That, what is it? The, t the, the cute... Well, the, look that up. So, uh, so yeah, so it's about, it's about these five really fabulous friends, yeah. and they're all incredibly different, and my character, Sam... Yes is kind of the commitment foe party girl of the bunch. Right. 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 Yes. And your BF with Michelle Paradise's yes. character, who is the creator and writer of the show. And this fabulously, obscenely talented woman. Right. Yeah. And you guys are like BFF going through all this shit together. Yeah. Let me ask you this. You yourself, in your real life, are not a les. No. On a scale of one to gay, where do you fit in on that scale? Oh, a scale of one to gay? Are you a five, or you a six, or you a three, or you a two? Have you been to LesCon one at all? Is there a number? There can be. I think um, there can be. Really? Yes. I've not thought on this scale before, Julie. So my <laughs> wheels are turning. How about a percentage? I'm trying to. I'm trying to think of my percentage. I mean, Julie other than X's and O's. Ninety-five percent. What's that? You, you're ninety. I'm ninety-five percent less. You're ninety-five percent less. Yes. I've rated myself at a ninety-eight. Right. Ooh. Interesting, right? Because yeah. you wouldn't think that from looking at us. You'd say Julie is 100% <laughs> LEZ Dico. But you're just a 95er. There's 5% of me that would get drunk and do it with whoever's available. So you're like the seven <laughs> margarita straight girl. Yeah. Right. Is it, okay. Yeah. I got that. That's right. I got that. Absolutely. Okay. In and out. What's up? You're worse. I am potentially worse. <laughs> That's true. There is something wrong with me. <laughs> but you know what? If, uh, if I was single. Yeah. What do I care? Really? Yeah, I'm with you. You Just know, after a certain amount of drinks, balls feel like a vagina. Hey. <laughs> this is going to be uncomfortable for you, I can tell. Uncomfortable? No. Not at all. I'm, You're I'm in loving the balls feel like a vagina. Balls feel like a vagina balls. conversation. This is totally tell normal. Tell me more. Yeah. Okay. This is happening to you. Yeah, I like it. Wait, we were waiting for Marnie. I know. No, right. I, I'm having a hard time. So <laughs> below 50. <laughs> Forty. I'm gonna. Th here, here's how I quantify it. Go. Fifty percent plus. Yeah. You maybe could have a relationship with a woman. Right. Yeah. Uh huh. Fifty percent below. It's really about just queering off, but probably then you get below thirty percent, and you really just can't even touch a veg. You could make out, maybe touch a boob, oh, but you, you could not get in there okay. because the thought of it is a little repulse. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go. These are real questions. I'm gonna, People I, want to know. I'm going to go 42%. 40. Marnie Alton is 42%, everybody. Thank you. 42%. That is a high percentage. That is I higher than I would have given you. I popped into your MySpace and I posted. I would have given you a 30. Yeah? <laughs> Did you post it? I posted it. Yeah. Yeah. I would have given you a 30. I would say, Marnie Alton, maybe I don't know. Maybe, maybe I've been hanging out with the Leses too long because well, I'm doing Well, you've been doing the show. show and now yeah, it, and it's, it's up in it. It's, it's yeah. up in it. You probably started out as a 30. And yeah, then maybe. Got, mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I also want to know, um, I had another question for you and I don't remember what it is. Here's fun. What, what's summer camp? Oh, we want to know about summer camp. Summer yeah. camp. Did you go to summer camp? Um, I, my family wasn't really together, so they didn't really 
Was anything, it a broken home? Anything that, that, that I did was really self-motivated. I'd just tell my mom where to drive me. So, like, I wow. think they sent me to a summer camp once. Like, I have a vague memory of it. Uh, it wasn't, yeah. If it no. did, it was, like, one No week. summer camp. Not a big summer Surprising. camp. Surprising. I'm a summer camp counselor. You're an independent lady. I was, you, I was are camp, you are? I have been, yeah. I did that, too. I can't tell you. Mm. I did it at the Painted Turtle. Okay, okay, okay. All right, where was your camp that you were counselor? Um, it's called the Painted Turtle. It's a camp for sick kids. Oh. It's up like, it's, it's, don't get more. It's okay. They okay. Were, no one died. Or oh, all right. Yeah. Um, it's up kind of like near Lancaster, Palmdale kind of area. I would have loved you, Marnie Alton, as my camp counselor yeah. with a guitar. I would have Oh, right? Oh, totally. totally. Full I wrote, I, we full on wrote a song for the talent show called Friends Forever. Oh, God, I love it. <laughs> love you. All right, Marnie Alton, we learned you're 42% Les. <laughs> we learned that you. Uh, are a singer songstress. You play three chords on the guitar, <laughs> and I mean, what's not to love? Like you're an independent, sassy lady who's doing her things without no excuses, no apologies. You're Marnie Alton, living your hey. life, right? Yeah, doing your thing, which is what we love. We want people to know that they need to watch X's and O's. Yes, right. We want you have or go to iTunes or go to iTunes and download X's and O's. Download X's and O's. Watch X's and O's. Marnie Alton, thank you for coming Thanks. on this lesbian interview show. Thanks. We love you, Marnie Alton. Thank you for tuning in to this very special and important moment of your life. Thank you. Thank you, men. Thank you, men.